hey y'all so in today's video i'll be doing a clip-in tutorial it is like the most natural looking damage free weave that you can have okay and i'm using asteria hair two bundles of their straight texture 14 inch clip-ins as y'all can see this is how full the bundles are two bundles are more than enough and here's like how the clip-ins look of the sizes you get and everything so if you're interested in Asteria hair make sure to click those links down below I absolutely love Asteria hair I've used them a couple times before clip-ins are bomb two bundles are always more than enough for my little head so <laughs> check them out y'all but let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial so here I'm just showing y'all my hair I am tech slice for those of y'all who don't know and I've had my hair straight in for a little over a week and I'm about to go ahead and install these clip-ins and I'm so excited because y'all I'm sick of wigs okay yes I'm sick of wigs I just want my hair to breathe but then again I still want a little va va boom that I don't have I still want a little length a little body a little bounce you know what I'm saying and clip-ins are just the definite way to go you don't have to worry about glue you don't have to worry about your hair being sewn up because honestly I'm tired of that too like my my scalp just being in clothes like I want my scalp to breathe I want my hair to breathe when you have in clip-ins your hair is just out they don't itch nothing so I don't know what happened to the first clip where I installed the first one but yeah I'm curling the clip-ins doing like a loose um not loose but like a messy type of curl just a real natural looking type of curl and then here I'm just going to show y'all how to install clip-ins so you just unsnap them put them in and snap them like is re y'all really don't even need this tutorial it's very very simple <laughs> and then what you want to do is combine your hair your natural hair with the clip-ins and style them together you can also style the clip-ins off of your head but I just found this to be easier I don't know because I feel like everything will blend in better so yeah y'all can see here again I'm just unsnapping them opening them up slipping them in my head like close to my scalp and snapping them down and really it is that simple and this is like the perfect time for me to do clip-ins because once my silk press starts to get old um my roots you know what i'm saying they they natural y'all know i'm pregnant and i'm you know i haven't had a touch up in months so <laughs> having like natural roots like and you know they gripping girl they gripping on to them so yes you just keep on going up um depending on how full you want your clip-ins that's how you will place your clip-ins or space your clip-ins like the closer they are the fuller it'll be the more spaced out they are the thinner everything will be and I wanted mine pretty full so I packed mine in there real good And right here I'm just showing you that you don't want to put your clip-ins right on your edges that way you know you can put them in a ponytail and they can look uh, more natural like towards the front like when you when the wind blow you don't see a track you know what I'm saying you just see your natural hair just like a, a traditional like natural sew-in or something like that or like a u-part wig where you leave your edges out you want to leave your edges out with your clip-ins right here I just want to show y'all a little mistake I made 
I kind of went up too high with my clip-ins. Like, I don't need this little of a leave-out with clip-ins, especially with how short mine are because my hair blended in really good with 14 inches. And look at that. Girl, where, where are you going to put your part? <laughs> with your track all the way up there. So, I had a little trouble hiding my track, like, towards the back part right there. Y'all see it. I got to press it down. But, yeah, I ended up taking that track out and everything still blended in perfectly fine. It blended in even better without that big old track right there <laughs> uh right at the front of my head so you don't need like that many tracks in the front unless your hair is shorter or your natural hair is like significantly shorter than the clip-ins then you might want to go you know up some more but you want to use like the little one clip so everything will blend in a lot better but yeah honey y'all can see everything is blending it's looking like my hair like you can't even tell where my hair is with these clip-ins which is just amazing i love clipping so much and i just want to go ahead and talk about this hair really quickly i actually prefer the kinky straight clip-ins um opposed to this straight hair because as you can see it is like a little shiny because it's like silky straight but i like the kinky straight because it's more yakky and i feel like that blends in better with black girl hair rather than be relaxed text laxed or natural like I need me a little bit of yak <laughs> and also if I would have washed these they would have been more dull and everything so that's a factor too but overall I still love love these clip ends and as you can see overnight they did get more dull because I actually slept on them so love these I'm going on like night four with wearing these clip ends they don't hurt they don't itch it don't feel like nothing is on my scalp like you can't tell me this is not my hair like this is mine okay <laughs> so click those links down below if you're interested in asteria hair i love them once again thank y'all so much for watching this video and i'll catch y'all in the next one